everyone. Just a man and his dog today. My son's at a sleepover. My son's my best buddy. Sorry, now get your second place. <laughs> and uh, my wife's at a baby shower with her daughter, Denise, and my other daughter, Sophia. So it's just me and a dog, Nugget. There he is. All right, guys, here we are. We're at a little arm of the Elkhorn Slough, right where you see that black car, if you could see that in the silver truck, that's Strawberry Road. And then right up here is Hidden Valley Road. So yeah, so we're at a little arm of the Elkhorn Slough. There's all kinds of trash, maybe some criminal evidence, we'll see. All right, just about to do the first toss here. Brought my gloves this time. This time it's a necessity because this water, it's a, a slough, so it's what they call brackish. And there's slough glue, goo everywhere. See, look at all that mud. That's what they call slough goo. But we'll see if we can get anything. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It's a weak toss, but is there anything on here? Anything at all? No. Slew goo. Slew to the goo. Nothing. Yeah, probably a bunch of microorganisms. We'll leave those, not disturb them. Nothing on the back. Let's try again. Go a little further. Ooh, I don't want to step in the water here. clicks of any kind, nothing like that. <laughs> stirring up the goo, stirring the goo. Oh man, yeah, anything? Did you get anything at all, Magnet? Tons of microorganisms, I'm sure. A whole bunch of nothing. Got the train coming by on the other side. Let's maybe try down here a little bit. Ooh, that almost <laughs> feels stuck. Oh, shoot. Yeah, ooh, I got something there, I think. Wow, I don't know what that, that was crazy. Maybe my, maybe the hoop, the loop got stuck on something. I don't know, or I pulled something out with luck. Let's see, what did we get here, anything? Just a bunch of, ugh. Weird like, yeah, slew goo. Goes back in the water. Funky little bugs though. Nothing significant at all. Ugh. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Oh man, I'm getting stuck right here. But could it? There's something. Either that or just landed in really deep. I never felt like that stuck before. That was weird. Huh. Maybe I need to hmm, turn my, put the um, D-ring or whatever it is, the clip on, on the other loop. Hmm. <sighs> Stinks. Back in the water with the goop. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch. Put this on a different portion. Tighten your 
this clasp D-ring. Yeah, I think this will work. Maybe a little bit better for dragging. I don't know, this seems like a good spot to hide criminal evidence. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I know, Nugget. I know. You're excited. You want to do something. I know. You don't want to be tied to a tree. I wouldn't either. Yeah, we're going to move pretty soon. I know. <clears throat> Just nothing. Nothing, nothing. Well, I'm back to my house in Watsonville area. Um, but yeah, I didn't find not a single thing, this magnet fishing expedition. Um, what, uh, what I was expecting to find stuff. Um, yeah, Elkhorn Road, if you're not familiar with the Monterey Bay area, Elkhorn Road is, a, is like a really odd road. It's this road that kind of parallels the coastline of the Monterey Bay, but more inland. And, there's, and it goes across several arms of the El, what's called the Elkhorn Slough. And uh, it's always kind of been, in my eyes, like a creepy kind of a road. Um, I grew up out there, so it's not as creepy, but um, I don't know. But still, even growing up out there, there's weird stuff that you uh, may have found. Um, somebody last time on the, on the, the Fresno Magnet Fishing uh, Expedition that me and my nephew went on asked, what's the craziest thing you found? And, yeah, the craziest, I haven't really found much with the magnet, um, but I found some weird stuff on Elkhorn Road, so story time. Okay, so uh, many years ago, I used to be a distance runner. Like I used to, you know, run long distances and um, wasn't Olympic level, but hey, so I was on a run one day, um, but, and I saw this little footpath near kind of where I was magnet fishing, where, where uh, I was with you guys today, all the millions of viewers. And so I said, I need to go see what's in this footpath. You know, it's in the area I live in. So I walked along the footpath and it kind of went around this like little uh, bend towards the shore of the slough. And there I found a dead dog in a dog food bag. And it was really, really bizarre. And I was like, why would somebody not like bury their own dog? on their property, you know, cause that's what people do in the country. You bury your dog on your property or, you know, take it to the pet cemetery or something. But then I went, Oh, I get this. This is a, this is, it was a, it was a big old Rottweiler and it was put in a giant, like, I don't know if they even still make these like hundred pound dog food bags, like a big a bag of Alpo or whatever. I don't know what kind of dog food it was, but so it was just kind of put in there and dead. And I went, oh, this dog probably was in a dog fighting ring. Oh, that's great. So, and then just left there, you know, after it lost a fight or something, or who knows what happened to it. Um, yeah, really creepy stuff out there. Um, another thing I found, I was doing a cleanup. Um, it was like what they call a coastal cleanup. So you, I used to volunteer for it. I should probably do it again, maybe, maybe this year. Um, I think they do it in the fall. And I was, you find just tons of like people Elkhorn road is like almost like a trash dump like people cause it's so rural that people think that they're not going to be spotted and they'll throw like all kinds of criminal evidence, like car doors that were obviously from like a chop shop. Um, I mean, it's obviously like, and then there's, Oh my gosh, uh, found so much nasty stuff. But one time as I was picking up trash in a really forested area, I found this little piece of paper. And so I, you know, pick it up and I, I look at this piece of paper. It's like pretty much crumpled. Like somebody just threw it out their car window. They didn't need it anymore. So I was just like, I'm bored. I'm picking up trash. So I'm going to look at it. So, and then I find, I look, there's like a pentagram or something on the paper. I'm like, oh, what the heck? So I'm like, I open it up and I'm like, oh, maybe this is just kids having fun or I don't know what it is, but it was like a rectangle and uh, there was a bunch of pentagrams around the rectangle. And there was like a little like number by each pentagram or something like that. So it was as if some like all these like pentagram symbols were sitting around a table. And there's like a candle 
like somebody drew like a stick, you know, and like a little flame on top of the stick, like around near next to each pentagram is really bizarre. It was like, okay, this is a weird piece of paper. And then I went, okay, that's kind of weird. Maybe it's just kids like trying to creep each other out and draw creepy stuff or something. Then you flip it. I flipped the paper and there are all these uh, phone numbers <laughs> associated with each number in like a list. And I'm like, okay, this is weird. I'm like, I, so decipher that all you millions of fans. Um, somebody asked me what's the craziest thing I've ever found. Well, it wasn't magnet fishing, but it was definitely found where I was magnet fishing today. So I'm, I'm hoping, I know if I didn't have my dog with me and I, I was able to like be more, I have, I have to have him on a leash. So I had to tie him off, you know, in a shady spot. And it just, he was starting to, you know, get, get agitated. If I had more time, I would look for some stuff like that in the water. Cause there's gotta be stuff in that water. Um, there just has to be, I, I sense it. My senses are based in logic for sure. Um, anyway, that's all I got. Big nothing burger, just a, just story time. So that's all I got. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Um, yeah, you never know what you find when you pick up trash and, or go magnet fishing, you do, do some cleanups. You, you never know what people throw away. It's pretty interesting. Okay. See you guys. Bye.